Hey everybody, this is Jessica from JewelryTutorialHQ.com and Bespangled Beads on Etsy. In this video, we're going to learn how to make these cute leather tassel earrings. And I'm using scraps of leather that are left over from another project. Please see the description or the notes below this video for all of the information about the supplies that you'll need. Now I'm starting with a four and a half inch piece of leather and I'm going to slide that through a closed jump ring and adjust it so that the ends are even and the jump ring is in the center of the leather. And then do that again with a second piece of leather the same length, making sure that it lies flat against the first piece. Using a toothpick, I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of fabric glue. Um, you can also use leather glue, and I don't want you to worry too much about the brand. Anything that says it will bond uh, leather or fabric should work just fine. Uh, and I'm going to do the same on the outside of the first piece. And I'm just doing this so that the leather will stay in place as I wrap around the last piece of leather. So now I'm just putting some glue on the end of the third piece of leftover leather. Anything that's longer than about an inch should work fine for this last piece. I'm going to line this up so that it sits about halfway across one of the sides of the tassel. And then I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to glue all the sides as I go along. And when I get back to the side where I started, I want to overlap just a little bit the leather and then trim as close as I can using either flush cutters or some really sharp fabric scissors and sticking that last end down. Now we're ready to attach the ear wire. Just grab one of your ear wires and a pair of chain nose pliers or bent chain nose like the ones I'm using and twist to open up the ring at the bottom of the ear wire. Slip on the jump ring at the top of the tassel and then twist back to close the ear wire. So that's one way to finish off the earrings. Um, you'll notice that they're hanging kind of sideways, sort of. If you want to change the direction that they hang, you can either twist the loop at the bottom of the ear wire, or you can simply add another jump ring. And then when you add the ear wire to that, it'll change the way that the tassel is facing. And at this point, if you want to trim up the tassel a bit so that the ends aren't all even, you can do that with your scissors or flush cutters, and it'll give it a different look. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this project, you might want to check out some of these other related videos. You can click on any of the thumbnails and be taken to that video. And I hope you'll visit me at JewelryTutorialHQ.com. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.